Nice to have you with us. Moment. 
Now he's just stepping into the Barbara Streisand shoes. No, and they're and beanie the, belt shoes now. Yeah, yes. they're hers. Were there things that you wanted to bring to a 2022 version of it that weren't there in the 60s? Well, you know, a good story is a good story. It's the story of a man and a woman who fall in love and they have their struggles, their power struggles. One wants to be free, really loves his freedom, and the other one needs to have him close. And, you know, that's a, that's a timeless story. A story that holds special meaning for Lynch. Wow, it's a little bit of a pulse. Yeah. It is, and I may uh, shed a tear. <sighs> my, um, my mother and I bonded. <sighs> it's really the only thing we bonded on. We saw eye to eye on. Anytime I would do well in shit business, I know we get a job, you know, guest on a sitcom. Mm -hmm. She would leave a message on my answer sheet. Born and raised just outside of Chicago, Lynch knew from a young age, not unlike Randy Bryce, she wanted to be on stage. What is the possibility of being a performer or an actor or a comedian? Watching television. Is that what it is? Yeah, watching television. Going, I want to do that. Really? Watching Carol Burnett. Watching the Brady Bunch. Um, I always wanted to be a part of like a, a group of people playing make believe, and I decided that if that's something I can do, I want to do it. Just play pretend. In fact, I was 12 years old, and I wrote a letter to Universal Studios, and they wrote me back. Was this the Brady Bunch letter? Yeah. yeah. I said I'd like to be on the Brady Bunch. The assistant to the casting person wrote back and said, we don't have a, um, a, a, a way to develop young talent. School, do plays. And oh, I just I held that letter up. Lynch studied sketch comedy at Second City in Chicago before moving to Los Angeles. Though she didn't know it at the time, a commercial for breakfast cereal would change her life. Well, I auditioned for a commercial for Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, and I got a call back, and it was a Christopher Guest commercial. This is Kathy. Oh, uh, and we just love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Even in that 30-second spot, Lynch stood out to the famed director and comedian, who later cast her in his classic mockumentary, Best in Show. Sherry will be doing my makeup. She has worked non-stop ever since, on television shows like Two and a Half Men, and in movies like Talladega Nights. But it was a mean tracksuit-wearing coach named Sue Sylvester on the hit show Glee that made Jane Lynch a household name and earned her both an Emmy and a Golden Globe. Hey, buddy, I thought I smelled failure. Get a haircut? Looks awful. I don't trust a man with curly hair. Your hair looks like a briar patch. Once again, I am making fun of your incredibly stupid hair. She would come up with the darkest, most violent things to say, and because she's not Hannibal Lecter, he laughs. Did you guys feel that in real time, that something really yeah. special was I happening? I did, for sure. Yeah. It was but I had a sense. I, I was like, oh my God, this is going to take off. In 2019, Lynch won another Emmy for her performance as comedian Sophie Lennon on the Netflix series The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Dogs? Yes, ma'am. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> she's got everything in the world that anybody can ask for. She's got fame, she's got money, and then Mitch Maisel comes along. And Sophie asks her, what's your gimmick? <laughs> I have a I just see funny things and I tell people about them and it so pisses so off. Lynch, who even won a pair of Emmys while dabbling in game shows, also has no gimmick. Did you pose for that one? <laughs> if you look online for pictures of me, you'll see many of that same expression. Just an openness to new projects and an appeal that has audiences coming back for more. I've done a variety of things. So that's kind of how I've lived my life and it makes me happiest. So I will continue to operate in that way. Funny Girl is in previews now at the August Wilson Theater in New York with an official opening next Sunday, April 24th. Tickets are available now. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the full length interview with Jane Lynch, including a confession about whether she swiped any of Sue Sylvester's tracksuits from the set of Glee. Probably did. You can find our extended conversation on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. And next week, a new Sunday sit-down with another talented and charming actress, 
Sienna Miller on the popular new Netflix series that has her character in the glare of public scandal, a theme with which Miller has some real-world experience. Sienna Miller, next week on Sunday Today. Let's turn now and get a quick check of your local Easter Sunday weather. And again, this is Easter Sunday morning, that's hard to say. We're looking at lots of sunshine outside, so a really pretty looking day, but it's chilly too and breezy also. Temperatures only in the 40s across the area, but look at this pretty view. We're going to enjoy sunshine all day long. 46 degrees in Gatorsburg, 42 in Hagerstown, it's 51 in Waldorf. As we go throughout the day, breezy and cool, 56. Rain develops on Monday. More sunshine Tuesday and Wednesday, and then warm Thursday, Friday, and Saturday into the 70s. Have a great day. Today, our highs and lows of the week, including a beautiful moment in baseball as a big league player is brought to tears after hitting a home run for a young fan who needed a boost. But up next, our Sunday spotlight on the global push toward electric vehicles extending from the roads out onto the water with a massive potential impact on the environment. We'll are back in just 30 seconds. Welcome! I'm the master of time.